Rose from Fingal here again. Imelda organized a Zoom for the family, the whole family, husbands, wives, and grandchildren. When I saw them all in the same room, and yet so far apart, I burst out crying. And that started them all off. And Tom said, Ma'am, he said, we don't want you to die. We just wanted to find out whether you wanted to be cremated or buried. And then they all started to laugh. And I said, Tom, I hope you're not thinking of cremating me while I'm still alive. You see, Corona has made me realise that I need to finish the living will that I started last year. I am getting a bit forgetful, and it's best to do it before I lose me marbles. Imelda understands my cranky ways, and she's willing to take it on and get legal advice. Provided, of course, you're all agreed. Well, we have been talking about it, Tom said, and we've agreed. Imelda is the best person for the job. And she won't be left on her own. We will all help out. And then they lifted their glasses and toasted and thanked Imelda. And she said, God, I wonder what I'm letting myself in for. And I said, I've just a few, another thing to say to you. I just want to say thanks for being such a wonderful family. I don't know how you all survived. I loved you so ferociously. Your dad was the quiet one. Yes, he was, Tom said. Do you remember, ma'am, when he had a few jars, you used to persuade him to sing that song. What was it? And I said, Scarlet Ribbons. I peeped in to say good night, and then I heard my child in prayer, and then they all sang, and then we all cried, and then we sang again and remembered all the songs we used to sing, and we remembered how we nearly killed each other. And we told all the jokes. And I said, my God, this is great. I'm having a wake while I'm still alive. And Tom said, God, we should do this once a month. And Imelda said, don't lose the run of yourself. Your mum is going to live for years. And here's a toast to mum. She was our rock. She was our anchor. And they all cheered and the grandchildren stood up and did the bums and elbows. And I said, oh, for God's sake, stop. You'll start me off again. I just have one thing, more thing to ask you. When I die, I'd like the family to have a quiet meditation together to help to heal the wounds of our parting. And then I suppose you'll all have a mad hoodie. And I want you to sing Scarlet Ribbons for your dad. And I'll be with you in spirit, zooming over the rainbow.